Okay, this video is going to review the main causes of World War I, and we're going to look at a little bit more into the spark. And and we we've got, we, we, we discussed that you did a little bit on the main causes with the images, if you did that, and, and, and evaluating that in previous activity in the, in the web of alliances. Now we're going we're gonna to review that briefly, and then we're going to get into what really sparked it. Now, before I, um, I see you see double faces here, because what I have here, hopefully your pair deck is integrated now. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to start, I'm going to actually do something here. I'm going to get rid of me for, for a bit here. Um, I'll bring me back in, in a bit, but I'm going to get rid of me um, for, for a while here. And you're going to hear me. And, and so remember that if you're right here, um, you can, um, the pair will be there. Um, but you, it, I discovered that you can play it and, and stop it in the middle. So if you need to like look at a slide to answer a question in the pair deck, you can do it there. We were talking before about W1 and then stop it right in the middle. Okay, so if you if I like the slide, main causes we we, we would do M A I N. Let's say I need to get to that a slide, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Um, that you could stop it right in the middle. Put put your finger right in the middle. Also down at the bottom, okay, um, down at the bottom, you can click a YouTube video and it will play. It will open up YouTube. A lot of people were complaining when well, I get to the sites. Well, that's that's how you can do it, okay? Um, and then it, it should, but hopefully it should be embedded in there. Okay, so let's move on to the actual meat and potatoes here of this. Of this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this into um, slide. Of course, let me just swap for that review. So remember, we already reviewed militarism and how militarism is the glorif that the glorification of the military. Um, nations believe that to be great, that they truly had to have a powerful military. And a powerful um, military. Great Britain had, uh, everybody except Great Britain had large standing armies and they had to quickly mobilize um, it, it, in order to quickly mobilize and move troops. Um, the greatest competition was that naval rivalry, rivalry between Britain and Germany. Britain, of course, built the largest navy to protect its, its empire, and, and Germany began acquiring overseas colonies, and it finally began to build up its navy. Remember, uh, Bismarck was initially very uh, resistant to that idea. So this, this slide is a little weird. I'm, oh, it actually is going to come up now. Okay, what do you know? Um, the alliances. Remember, the alliances are those agreements between people, uh, between the countries, um, and they the, 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 how they had pledged to um, defend one another. And, and these alliances started actually in Bismarck's day. Um, to to um, the Triple Alliance started as a reaction to um, France longing to avenge its defeat in the Franco-Prussian War. So. Um, Bismarck signed treaties with the other powers in, in the understanding that France would would um, not attack Germany without help. So he formed this triple alliance with Italy and Austria-Hungary. Um, so Germany and Austria-Hungary fought on the same side when the war finally did erupt. Then you had the triple Entente, which is a reaction to that. Entente is a little again a little bit more, um, little not a non-binding agreement, but not as formal as a treaty. But it led to close military and diplomatic ties. And late, Britain later joins this agreement that Russia and France had first, first signed. In 1894, so triple alliance, a triple entente. This is setting the stage for what's going to what's going to um, end up happening. Okay, then you had, of course, uh, imperialism, and imperialism. We've already learned that the nations were fiercely um, imperial and fiercely um, trying to compete on in Asia. And sometimes this pushed them to the brink of war. And you see their increase in expenditures, and especially Germany from 1910 to 1914, their, their, their increase in expenditures. Um, and so these, again, these underlying main causes that we've looked at, imperialism, number three, trying to build up, build up an empire, and nationalism, of course. Um, that, that the idea that um, the comp competition among nations with each seeking to overpower the other. Think of the violence that breaks out between like fans of football teams, this intense pride um, 
causes may cause them to do harm on opposing fans. So nationalism is that intense pride of citizens, um, if you remember. So Germany was proud of the, their empire's new military power, and France longed to regain its position as, as Europe's um, leading military power. So those are the main, um, the, the main militarism, alliances, imperialism, nationalism. Now, just a quickly, now what was the spark? Okay. So I had to light up, um, and the spark then was the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austro-Hungary, and, and those of you that had U.S. last year may remember this. And his wife were assassinated by the the, the Serbian terrorists, Gavrilo Princip. Um, and remember that here in Sarajevo, the assassination taking place in Sarajevo, the terrorists were the, the terrorists were from Serbia. Okay, and um, again, our Austria Hungary ends up blaming Serbia for these murders, and they did declare war on Serbia in in July of nineteen fourteen, July twenty eighth. So the alliances come into play. So then, then on that same day, Russia and Ally Serbia orders the mobilization mobilization of troops along the Austrian border. France comes to the aid of Russia, and on August of nineteen fourteen. Expelled Belgium as, as a path to France. So then Britain declares war in Germany. World War I begins. It's like a, a spark. It, it creates a domino effect. Okay? It creates a domino effect. So this brief video kind of further describes that. And, and basically what I just said there, um, it comes into it comes into play. So watch this this brief video that, that describes it. Hopefully it comes through okay in what you're seeing. June 28, 1914, in Sarajevo, the capital of Serbia. Two bullets fired by an angry Serbian nationalist killed Archduke Ferdinand, the heir to Austro-Hungarian Empire. His murder destabilized an already tense Europe and sparked the First World War. Conflict had built for the past 50 years as many European powers claimed new colonies and beefed up their militaries. Everyone wanted more land, resources, Source power. The British had an empire, the French had an empire, the Germans had wanted an empire. And as these empires collided, it created great friction. But Germany wasn't alone in the empire building business. Nationalism was rampant in the European country. To protect their interest and gain even more strength, these empires sought allies. Starting at the beginning of the 20th century, the various powers of Europe began forming alliances. The British and the French allied against the Germans and eventually drew in the Russians. The Germans felt they needed help, so they allied with the Austrians, and then they eventually attached to the Ottoman Empire. So that by 1914, Europe had become an armed camp. Britain, France, Russia on one side, these had become the Allied powers, and Germany, Austria, and the Ottoman Empire on the other side, these will be the central power. By 1914, the alliance systems had built in such a way that the slightest of the whole structure collapsed after the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand. Austria Hungary declared war on a Serbian ally, then declared war on Austria. The complicated web of alliances went into overdrive. England and Germany to protect Syria, and Germany was more than willing to fight for Austria Hungary. The U.S. joined the Allied powers in 1917, and by then over 100 countries participated, even ones as far away as Japan and Bolivia. The Great War finally ended in 1918. So you see there what happens. Austria-Hungary blames Serbia for this for this um, this terror this terrorist attack, and we're going to watch another brief video on. What really is driving the Serbian black hand to, to do this assassination? So they declare war on Serbia. Russia declares war on Austria Hungary. And, um, and on July 28th, and these alliances came into play. So this is this all is this, this Germany declares war on Russia. Germany declares war on France. Britain then declares war on Germany based on these alliances. Okay. Based on these alliances. So, um, that that is what that's what ends up being the the spark this complex web of alliances starts chaining into each other like a domino effect like a domino effect so 
Amano effect. So that is what the spark was. Um, I think you're going to watch another brief video here on the on the deck with with a, a describing a little bit more on the the spark, and you may answer some questions on that um, a little bit more in depth on what the actual motivations were of the Serbians in this in this group called the Black Hand to to do this.